Hello there and welcome back to the most recent Donger deck discussion. My name is Seth Holocron from the Dongers of Runeterra and if you like our videos, our leagues, our Discord or whatever it is, we make an awful lot of content in the EU so please give us a like and a thumbs up and subscribe. So to today's deck, a today's deck that we've simply called Big Boys because this is monstrous like this is a monstrous deck and uh let's let's show you the uh the very big i'm about to start playing this for no reason at all i've just played it against the ai but uh we're going to actually come back i need to make sure that the things that i wanted to work worked so um we'll come out of this and we'll show you the deck so we will and uh we surrender that's much better Dear me. Oh no, it's a loss. Um, I haven't played it in normal yet, which is actually against my religion. Um, but uh, let's go in here and uh, go down to here and uh, let's show you the deck. So today's deck is pretty much let's have massive, 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 massive people. Don't put anything at one whatsoever. I am thinking, however, of putting in um, Omen Hawk into this. I think Omen Hawk would be a very good idea and I'm thinking of maybe even taking out the War Mother's Call uh, for the Omen Hawk but we have so many massive big boys um, that I may just keep War Mother's Call because this deck goes long. Yeah, we've got all goers, we've got atrocities, we've got Trundle. So the, the uh, three champions are we have uh, two Trindamirs, one says and three Tornable. And um, everything in this is massive. Um, and much as I, I like this, um, Troll Chant is amazing. So we'll go through the deck. I am genuinely thinking, and so that I do not forget about it, I'm going to put three in, and we're now down to 43. So you're pretty much taking this as a... That was my baseline. It was okay. But I want it even bigger. So if I can find three cards to drop out, they'll go out and Omen Hawk will go in. And it will also give us the Freljord 0 0.00000001 chance of not getting it in the opening hand. Um, but the uh, faces of the old ones is fantastic. Because if you kind of look down here. Uh, 2, 4, uh, 10. 10 for extra mana. Um which is fantastic. So that's going to stay because that's been really helpful so far. Troll Chant, we might actually take out. I don't think it's it's as good as what I want it to be, to be honest. Um, so that's a possible one. And it only as a one of, I'm not so sure that it actually needs to be there. So we'll remember Troll Chant. It's pretty much you give the enemy minus two attack and you get plus two health. Uh, Troll Scavenger uh, is 100% staying. Uh, if you behold an 8-cost card, grant me 3-0. Perfect. Uh, unspeakable horror, drain one from anything and create a random Nightfall card in hand. Now, this is the one that I'm thinking of taking out. Um, because we have an awful lot of twos. And um, we're not really Nightfalling anything. So I think I'll take that out. We're going to keep the one... Kindly Tavern Keeper. So we are. Because uh, that helps with our Nexus health. And then we have... Uh, so it's pretty much Trolls. I mean... Actually, you know... Let's, let's actually call it what it is. It's a Troll deck. Um, so the Scavenger, when I'm summoned, uh, he, he becomes a 4-3. Uh, the chances of you not getting an 8-cost card are remote. Uh, so he'll always be a 4-3. There's no allegiance or anything silly like that. The Ravenger is fantastic. Again, if you behold an 8-cost card, grant me regeneration. And the fact that we have Trundle, uh, as soon as you summon, you get an 8-cost Ice Pillar in hand, which is this. Uh, yeah, we're we're looking kind of all kind of good here. Um, so yeah, he uh, he gets regeneration. Because he's horrible and just looks like a Warhammer troll. And that's kind of cool. The scavenger, you know, looks a bit skinny. You know, but look at his art. It's, um, yeah, 
I, I will Skype things. Well, that's fine. But uh, uh, the Ravager, I mean, this guy actually looks the business. Uh, here, please take a gigantic log covered in rope to the face. Um, and it doesn't really matter because he will stay alive because he's a 3-5. And that uh, will just regenerate, which is horrible. Um, though this guy, oh God. So he can absolutely win you the game. He can also actually cripple things all over the place. Um deals one to all battling units i'm only putting two in i had three in at the start i think three is way too many the the chances of getting clogged up and then you're dealing things to yourself yes he can deal with it but um you know he's he's such a beefy unit though i mean he's so beefy you know uh kind of all manners of destruction going on in that one and then we have trundle uh who also has regeneration he's a four six and um, when you play the Ice Pillar, he levels up. And then, not only does he have regeneration, he has Overwhelm. Now, that's kind of just nasty. Just nasty in, in, in all shapes and forms. It's just horrible. I love him. I think Trundle is not being used the way that he should be. I think he should be in a predominantly um, big deck. Um, and, and the fact that, you know, if you get two of them, you get a nice quake, which is, um, really, really kind of good. And we're not running that in the deck. So that's another, uh, that's an eight cost card as well. So you, you're even holding that in hand. If you get a second one, again, all your triggers, all the synergy in this deck being around eight cost mana cards, um, is, uh, Altogether fantastic, if you want the truth, because you're just putting out huge big units to smash and survive and smash and survive. And and it's it's a bit like Ice, Ice Sage, in theory, with just even bigger boys. I mean, a 5-5 five, five Yeti, that's just nonsense. It dies after a couple of rounds. These don't. These just regenerate and laugh at you. They're like the Undying, but even bigger and don't pop, which is pretty damn good. So, back to the deck. Um, I have a deck with Augur of the Old Ones, and we actually called it the Augurs. Uh, this guy, again, has Regen. He has Overwhelm. And again, if you behold an 8-cost ca card, you grant an ally Overwhelm and Regeneration. Pretty much what we're doing is we're going to regenerate our entire board with Overwhelm. And Augur is a huge huge part of this can you imagine a, a massive massive unit or a really small unit with overwhelm regen what what you know three three overwhelm and regeneration a one three but he's actually a 4-3 with regeneration. It's just, it's complete madness. It is madness. The only one that doesn't work with is the Omen Hawk. But that's just to bump up all these guys, plus one, plus one. Uh, Sage, oh, the, the lovely lady. Playing a venerable boss fight and vulnerable this round. Throw her out, bang. She's already got overwhelm. And you can see what we're doing here. It's predominantly an overwhelm with monstrous sized units. Um, revitalizing Roar. It's just, oh my god. So, Swim made a a deck that literally reduced a thing to zero, and it was infinite, and now that card cannot uh, copy itself. That was hot fixed. This is still a great card for one. Like, it really is a great card for one. Um... Atrocity is in there for two. Uh, to kill an ally to deal damage equal to its part of anything. Ends the game really, really, really well. Um, and that is one of... I'm pretty sure we're running just the three. And two are Atrocity. And uh, one is Vengeance. So that's the only cards that we're running that aren't in Freljord. Atrocity, fantastic. Especially when you start getting up to like a leveled Sage... Um, and, and other such madnesses 
that, that they're kicking around. Because when I mean big, none of these are big yet. The, these are these are the younger brothers. Even Trundle's a younger brother. Because it just gets mad. So revitalizing roar, you pick a unit in your hand or avail heal your nexus by its power. If you're enlightened, reduce its cost to zero. Now you want to get the round 10 with this. And the meta is slow. Um, aggro decks really can't get through the health. So it goes to round 10. Um, and you get its cost to zero, which is just complete madness. Uh, vengeance just to kill something that is, you know, the possibility of uh, just killing something is too good not to have ones of. And I don't particularly like the three ones, uh, uh, the four ones, actually, but they're, they've all got usages. Uh, chances of you getting them, not as much as, as other decks, but still quite good. And then... Then the main man, the main man. I've, I, I'm actually thinking of of putting three of these in because not only does he draw the Swajani when he comes out, which is why we're only running one Swajani. If you're kind of wondering why am I not going two two two, because we're running three of these, and we will plunder because we're overwhelming which doubles the power and health of allies in your deck. And you know what? I need the third. So we're going to take one of those out. This ship is just fantastic. And would have been really good in Ice Edge, but you had enough power in the deck to just be amazing. Because when she levels... Each round that you damage the enemy nexus, you frostbite all enemies. It's just phenomenal and will win you the game. Which is why we're now running three Tusk Raiders and not just the two. Trindlemere is if he dies, I level up instead. You know, and, and the Tusk Raider by himself is a 7-7. Seven, seven. He's an 8-4. If he dies, he levels up and becomes a 9-9 nine, nine, by the best of my... Uh, Runeterra knowledge, and there he is. So he's not only overwhelmed, he's then overwhelmed and fearsome, because, you know, you killed him and he ain't happy about that. I mean, look at him with all his with all his nonsense kicking about. Yeah, he's he, he's not a happy bunny at all. So he's not. So that's a bit beforehand. Shoot me with all your arrows. I don't care about your arrows. So, uh, these two are phenomenal targets. But then, uh, so is this, uh, which is, oh my god, Osgar the Ancient. I've wanted to make a deck with this guy since I've seen him. Uh, so I've put three of them in. He's Regeneration, and he's a Challenger, and he's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I mean, come on. Sarah, look at this geezer. I mean, like, everybody in, in the whole of Freljord has just bricked themselves. And then, just to finish it off, the card from the better. The, every top deck in the world ran Freljord just to run three of these. I, as you saw, had three of these. But you then summon the top ally from your deck now and each round start is... Oh, my God. See, if you have a, if you have the one of the two atrocities and you're pulling all of these in, a 7-7, seven, seven, an 8-4, a 7-7... Seven, seven. Oh, I mean, it's 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 just completely it's madness, madness. But you just grab the top ally, and they're going to be massive. You know, it, even that is a five eight. It, it's fantastical. It's it's brilliant. So, if you want to see what it's like, let's see how long this video has taken already. That's fourteen minutes. So let us just go in here and we will let you see what the big boys actually do. All right, so let's let's just play it against the AI and I'll give you some semblance of what this deck can do. So rub against Draven, him with his spinning axes and us with our ridiculous sized units. So even, even uh, Draven, with his lightning attack. Uh, you see now we've just got tons of stuff here. But we don't want any of this right away. We may keep the Swizhani. But I would like 
some units, and we don't get anything until free at the minute. Let's see if we get a bonus. We don't. We get a trumble. But I, I'm okay. We we can stall things out quite well. Uh, he'll be coming out first, unless I get an Omen Hawk, just to bump something up. We don't, but we've got a Vengeance and this, which is okay. Okay. So, now, uh, we don't have an 8-cost card in hand. So what we will do is we will uh, heal that. He'd pull me in with his, with his thing, or kill me, or there's a scrap scuttler. Nice, extra damage, and guys. Okay, that's fine too. So he gets his four more damage. In. Okay, so first blood to him. Okay, so now we have this. So now we can drop down. That's the only thing we could have dropped down anyway, but now we have a 4-3. And I think we can run these out because it's going to be Tarkaz next round, then Swajani. In fact, it'll be Trundle, then Swajani, then Tarkaz, then that. So we're just going to throw this out. Nothing dies. Well, of course, he can die. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we're going to be taking another three damage. Don't worry about the damage. The damage doesn't really do that much. So it doesn't. So that's a waste of a skill. And I can block with Trundle, and then I can kill this with Sujani next, okay, that's fine. Okay, time to go to town, boys, time to go to town. So we have an eight cost here. Because he then becomes this, remember, a fearsome unit. So we're going to drop... Oh, we can't. We can't. We can't. So let's kill him. I don't think he can do too much. We've also got the troll chant, which could be really handy. Don't need it. Okay, so 17-9 with one of these isn't great, but now Draven can't kill anything. And we've got Troll Chant should we need it. Okay, so he thinks he's going to win here. He's not. Because I am going to do this. Bye, Draven. Thanks for playing. And look up here. He's got one card left. So, now what we want to do... Is have a good think because these are fine and we've also got Trimble near. So we are going to drop this to get all our mana back. A leveled up Trundle. A regen. And that, 
and then what's not going to die don't really want to kill off trundle but I can't think of anything that that's going to kill off but you know what let's put it there let's let him die And we're down to two. No. Next round we would play this. And just kill it off because he's got nothing. Okay. You do that. You know what? Watch this. <laughs> Grant me plus one for each eight cost card you behold. Ping, ping, ping. Oh dear. What a poor guy. There you go. Easy peasy. Yes, it's against the AI. I know it is. But in saying that, it's a bit of crack. So gameplay and uh, everything in this video, it's good. It's fun. They're huge. That's what you're after. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Seth Holocron. The deck code is in the pinned comments. So is all the links to our social medias. And until the next one, thank you for watching. Dong is out.